Hello, my Bellas. Welcome back. This is your girl, Shannon B. for Brown Girl Bella, bringing you lips, lashes, and luxury. And I could not wait. Guess what arrived at my doorstep? Mama Pat. So, um, without further delay, I'm just going to jump right into it. I could not wait. I'm like a kid on Christmas morning. Could not wait to bring this to you. So, let's get right to it shall we here's mama miss pat mcgrath this is her foundation brush so i'll hold it up so you can see and this is her powder brush um i bought them just because i don't have any pat mcgrath brushes and so with the system it came with these brushes so i said to myself might as well so i have these two i'm gonna hold them to the side because i will be using them with my pat mcgrath system so i love the packaging let me just show you and it has like this cute little flip here that comes out and then this is the primer. So this is what the primer looks like. The back, I had to um, adhere the label a little bit more because it was coming off, but that's the back of it. Made in Italy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use the primer. Let's take some glitter off. I'll do two pumps. Not sure how many I'm supposed to do with this primer, but might as well start off with two. I can tell you it doesn't have like a strong fragrance, but it has a very pleasant scent to it. Um, so, so far so good. I like it. I like the smell. Put some on my eyelids as well. All right, so that is the primer. And I'm gonna leave the boxes up there because I think this packaging is so cute. Let me tell you what it says on here. Whoever writes copy for Mother Pat's products, I'm telling you, they should get an award because they are so luxurious that it really makes you want to purchase this product. It says, smooths, hydrates, and preps skin for a soft focus blurred effect. Runway tested, mother approved. Yes, mother, yes, I'm with you. Um, so that is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer Base Perfection Sublime. That's my full, but it's all on here. So that's the primer. And then this is the powder. So let's open that up. Same packaging. Lifts up. And then slide the package out. This is what it looks like. This is in the shade medium three. And this says for the packaging, it says weightless, buildable, micro fine setting powder, runway tested, mother approved. So this is the setting powder. And again, I got it in medium three because the foundation that I got um, when I purchased the system was the last shade in the medium category before you get into the next category which I think is either deep or dark something like that um, so whatever shade you chose in the foundation they gave you the powder that went along with that so this is medium three all 
And then lastly, the one you've all come to see, <laughs> this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. It flips in the front. This is the only packaging that flips in the front. And then, whoa, baby. This frosted glass and beveled edges are just, it's just beyond. It's so pretty. Um, so this is in 21. So that's what I got. I'm going to take off the cover from the powder very carefully because it already has some popped up so that's what the powder looks like um, I think I'm gonna put the foundation on first and then powder I can't remember how mother Pat did it but I want to say she did foundation first and then powder so I'm just gonna go on ahead and do that I'm gonna pump out some of the product now and I heard you're supposed to build as you go. Wow, that just disappeared right into my skin. I was a little nervous about getting 21. I didn't think that I thought maybe it'd be too light, but then I saw 26 and it looked really dark. So I thought 21 might be better for me. Plus it oxidizes, so I'm thinking this would be the best one. Plus it was my undertone, which is, um, I have greenish undertones. Because if you look at your wrist inside and look at your veins, that will tell you what your undertone is. And mine is definitely green. <laughs> Do one more pump for the top. I'm going to do underneath my eye too and just go over sections that maybe need a little bit more TLC with the rest that's on my face. And I'll tell you, it doesn't have a scent to it either which I am very appreciative of. It goes on very smooth. And I love that it is very light. So you can definitely use this for every day if you so choose. Um, I'm probably going to use this for a little bit just to check it out and make sure that it is good just going into my now let's take the powder um just gonna let that settle for a minute before i put my powder on so far, I think it looks good. I'm looking at the monitor. I feel like it's a little gray cast, but again, it hasn't settled in yet. So I'm not going to panic just yet. All right, now we're going to take a little bit of that powder. I'm going to start to dust it on. Oh, 
I love this brush. Just gonna take a little more. Tap it off. I am in love with this brush. Yeah, that warmed me up a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna finish with the rest of the face and I will be back to tell you what I think about Mother Pat's new formula, The System. Powder. Foundation. And the primer. I'll be back in a few. Okay, Bella, so I'm back. I moved in a little closer so you can see my face. I have Pat McGrath on the eyes and also on the lips. I'm using Mothership 5 on the eyes and on the lips I'm using her Liquid Lust Gloss in Flesh Fantasy. So, all right, um, here's a couple of things. Um, first and foremost, the wait time to get my hands on the system was extremely long. Um, I put my order in the moment that it was available that Friday morning. I got a special code from Pat McGrath's staff to go on and purchase my system, which I did um, around 8.40 something in the morning, I got my email, nine o'clock, I was on it. But I just got it um, and it's been almost two weeks. So the wait time was a little lengthy for me. Um, but was it worth the wait? I think so. But other than that, I, I really like it. I don't know if I need to go up a shade. I'm really kind of happy with the way the shade is. Um, I'll tell you the powder, I did not know it was such a small ounce. Um, this powder is five grams. So just to give you a comparison, this is my Fenty Beauty. This is a deluxe uh, sample size. And this weighs 7.8 grams. So there's more product in here than there is in here. That's not right at all. <laughs> That's not right at all. Um, so this is a little bit of a uh, issue there. Um, so would I purchase this again? Probably not, um, unless they come up on the size. Um, the primer I liked I'm interested to see if it works as well with other products or if it's just exclusive to just Pat's foundation. Um, and I do want to try this foundation with my Milk Hydro Primer. Um, so I might try that tomorrow just to see if it works well with it or if you knew, need if you do need the primer and the uh, foundation to work together. I've seen many tutorials um, with people using uh, the foundation with another primer or the foundation with no primer and it doesn't look like they have any problems. I love the way that it settles. It sets almost immediately. So as you saw in the beginning, I worked in sections and then any product that I had left over, I just tapped it all over the face and then quickly with the brush, um, worked product in the brush. So I like the brushes. This is the foundation brush and this is the powder brush. Um, I love that the foundation brush has a smaller, shorter handle. Um, it made for light work in buffing the product in all over the face. I really like that. And I didn't get a whole lot of product on my brush, which I appreciate. So the majority of the product was on my face, not on the brush, which I loved. Same with the powder brush. I think I'm gonna be using this more often. I usually use another powder brush, but I love this brush and I love the way it just, like I said, made quick work um, when I was buffing in the powder. 
I thought this was phenomenal for that. So I'm really happy that I got the brushes just to try them out. Um, like I said, this well, this is a birthday gift to me, from me, with love and affection. <laughs> so, um, you know, I wanted to try it. I love Pat McGrath. I love her products. I knew I would be happy when I finally got my hands on the system. Um, and, I, and I think I am. I really think that I am very happy. I will give you a more in-depth um, look at this um, probably in the next couple of days but I really just wanted to get something out to all of my Bellas out there who were curious about this product who were sitting on the fence whether or not they should get it um, I'll say again this is a mighty big coin 68 bucks um, but if you love just a light foundation that doesn't feel like foundation on your skin you're really gonna love this because it does go on very easy very smooth it blends like a dream um, and I can see myself using this as my everyday foundation um, at least for a while this is what I'll exclusively be using because it's $68 um, the same with the primer. I'm going to try it um, again with the primer and then again with my normal primers just to see if I do need to get this again. I don't really care for the packaging here. Um, it's not screaming Lux to me as much as the foundation is. Um, the label, the fact that it's, you know, so obviously glued to the back like this really kind of bothers me because I'm looking for everything that Pat McGrath does and all her products to be elevated to another level and this does not fall in line with that. The way these were packaged, I love. Yeah. I love this packaging here. This is fantastic, gorgeous. Um, so it just sat in the window like this. So I love that and they look and feel luxe. These are not natural hairs. These are synthetic fibers, which again, don't bother me. Um, I probably won't buy any more of her brushes um, just because I'm trying to move into more natural hair brushes. But for this purpose, for the foundation and the powder, I wanted to get the whole thing just to have that experience. So glad I got them but I wouldn't you know if you have a lot of brushes and you feel you don't need it that's not something to you know really break the bank over same with this you could take it or leave it you really don't have to purchase that like I said I've seen tons of other youtubers who don't purchase the primer who still look flawless in their application of the foundation. So that's not a must get. Um, inclusive of that, I would not purchase this. Um, it's not enough product for me to justify the spend. Like I said, if I get more product out of here, this is 7.8 grams, this is five grams, uh, not even, I think it's 0.5. No, five, five grams. Um, and this is 7.8. So there's more product in this little container than there is in this bigger container. So for me, that doesn't justify the spend. Um, the foundation, the packaging is luxe. The bottle is weighty. I love the beveled edges. It just screams luxe. I think all of her time and effort was spent in getting this right, which is apropos because this is the money maker here. Um, I love the top. I love the fact that it has the pump um, in that luxe gold and black. It just fits in with all of her other things that she has. So for me, this is a good um, representation of her brand now whether the product works or not we will see um, the next time I come on I'm gonna do more of a wear test again this is really just to come on to play with everything to show you how everything looked and really just to 
get this out to my Bellas as soon as possible so you can make your own determination. As I said, I'm wearing number 21, which is the last in the medium category before you move to the next category. I think it blends well with my overall skin tone. I just need to blend it down into the neck so that it's a little bit more seamless. And then I think I wouldn't have a problem um, using this as my foundation. I really do like how it looks. Um, and I'm looking on camera now, it doesn't look as ashy as it did when I first came on to me. Um, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to click that Brown Girl Bella logo right here at the bottom of your screen if you're not already in the Bella Brigade so you can join us and have a blast. Also, when you click that button, don't forget to tap that notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload. Until we see each other again, here is a video to catch you up on all things Brown Girl Bella, and I'll see you here next time. Deuces. Brown skin girl, that skin just like girl.